and efforts to repeal the president's health care law kicking off in earnest this week. A repeal bill is expected to pass in the GOP-led House but falls short in the Senate, where Democrats hold a slim majority there. Now, a new Rasmussen Reports poll shows 75% of likely U.S. voters would like to see the law change in some form or fashion. So joining us now to discuss this are Democratic strategist Richard Sakharides and former special assistant to President Clinton and columnist Andrea Tanteros, a Fox News contributor. Uh, Andrew, let me begin with you. We know that the Republicans want to repeal this law. Uh, they are even touting it as calling it the job-killing uh, bill that's out there right now. They want to repeal that. Uh, why so fierce? Well, because as you pointed out, Kelly, they have the public on their side and they also have the facts on their side. Since this bill was passed, we've only seen premiums go up and we've seen insurers, most notably uh, McDonald's, drop coverage, which made the administration have to give them a special carve out. So it's been a disaster from day one. But what could Republicans do? Let's look at the facts here. Simply choking off the funding, you hear this defunding option, mm -hmm. I don't think would work. They could, let's say, uh, repeal the provision that requires that small businesses uh, fire a file a 1099 every time they spend $600. Uh, I think that provision is universally hated, and I don't think that it will survive. But these are just going to be minor disruptions. Introducing some unraveling bill and getting it to the president's desk will be very, very difficult. Uh, I think what they should do, Kelly, is they should put together precise individual legislation and introduce it, starting with uh, medical malpractice reform, okay. and get doctors in their camp, get small businesses in their camp, talk about how they could hire more people, if they could buy insurance over state lines, and do these individual things. They should not do what Democrats did well, and introduce a 2,000-page well, monstrosity. No, let me bring in uh, Richard to talk about this. We've heard what Andrea is saying, that uh, what her suggestions are for the Republicans. What do you think the Democrats should do in dealing with this repeal health care bill? Well, you know, Andrea is usually pretty easy to understand, but I, I'm totally confused uh, this, this afternoon what she has to say. I mean, I think, first of all, the important thing to remember is this polling, this Rasmussen poll that you talk about. Um, you know, you can look at it in several ways. I mean, only 20 percent in the Rasmussen poll say they want to go back to the old system. Over 73 percent say that the old system wasn't working and we have to try something different. So I think it's very clear where the American people are. The American people still believe that the old system, what we had, was not working and we need to do something different. Now, there's a little bit of a disagreement as to what exactly we should try differently. What's clear is that in the Congress, the House may try to tinker with this legislatively. The Senate will not go along. And what's clear is we're going to have what the people want, what the polling shows, and that is we're going to try this new law over time. We're going to tweak it. We're going to fix it. Uh, we're going to uh, let experience guide us as to what works and what doesn't work. And what we end up with, hopefully, will be better than what we had before. Well, well, because look, what's clear is what we had before was completely not working. All right, but Richard, they don't Richard want and Andrew, let me, let me get something in here, uh, edge, er, word wise. Uh, it is worth noting that a majority, 55%, uh, actually take one of the middle ground approaches repeal and replace or leave it and improve it. Andrew, well, that's there... not really the middle ground. What 55% what, what of the people say is that we need to do something differently. We need to do something other than what we had before. And then 20% of the people say that the, almost 20% of the people say that the new law is perfect. And another 20% say that the, old, that the well, new law is not exactly what they want. So what this poll really shows, though, is that there's widespread dissatisfaction with what we were, with what we were doing. Look, and Richard, we, I hear you we loud know, and we know clear, is that we but Andrew, go back. Uh, let me just get a word in. Uh, Andrew would argue that most Republicans and, in fact, unaffiliated voters prefer to start with the repeal process as opposed to uh, eliminating a or eliminating certain portions of it. They just want to right. do the repeal altogether. But Andrea, right. well, look, totally look, at the, at the, at the onset, totally Richard, Richard, at the onset Andrew, Democrats talk. came out and they said that this bill was supposed to lower costs. Remember, that's why we were doing it. You don't need a poll to tell you that. That's 100% of people, I can guarantee you, say, All right, lower Andrea, my health care costs. I, I, this bill uh, Andrea, is not Richard, doing that. Andrew, Richard, we got to go. I, I thank you. We're, we're that makes running sense. based out of that's time. That's easy to understand. We could talk about this all day long. Thank you very much, both of you. You're welcome. That's going to go on for a while, Jamie.